So I'm back for part two of my Las Vegas haul. This one is going to be all the goodies, like all the makeup. I went to Sephora three times. It was across the road from us, okay? Like, what are you going to do, you know? So the first time we went, we both made VIB, which is... I don't know if that's impressive or tragic but that's what happened and then we also went a couple more times before i get into the sephora stuff though i'll quickly show you what i got from benefit they gave us these really neat suitcases they feel like real leather almost they're very very cool they've got benefit stickers all over them it's actually a little code you can set on there so i believe you might actually be able to use this as like a proper suitcase but it's got heaps of goodies inside they gave us this cool mirror and it also collapses down which is really cool so if you're wanting to do your makeup like having it on a surface you can do that which is so handy i really actually needed a spare mirror for when my friends do their makeup here the inside looks like that by the way i don't know how well i'm showing everything and then we've got a cute little holographic bag here and this is kind of like the tools so there's tweezers a sharpener a little brow spoolie brush and then these are all the brow products here I won't go through all of these because I already went through all of them in my vlog. So I'll link that one down below if you'd like to see. I actually tried the products on my eyebrows too and like showed them. But I have to say I'm most excited for Cabral, which is the cream product with a little brush and also precisely my brow. I know most of you have probably seen these products already, but I just wanted to briefly mention them because I think it's beautiful, like the packaging and so spoiled to receive all of that. This is going to be very precarious. I'm going to have to balance it here. There's actually a few more things from Benefit I've chucked in here. They gave us this cute little skincare set with an eye mask and this, which I'm obsessed with. It's called Best Night Ever Kit. Folding flats, emergency like boob tape, bobby pins, a little brush, a hair tie, a deodorant, towelette, breath drops, a mirror, tips and tricks, and then a professional. So I'm just going to kind of list off everything I got and tell you a little bit about why I bought it, why I'm excited for it. And of course, I'd love for you to write below if you've tried any of these products and what you thought. So like I said, I've got this giant bag. This was the day we went VIB. Shameful. And then two mini bags as well. See, something already fell out. Oh gosh, it was an hourglass powder too. <laughs> I got quite a few hourglass products because in New Zealand, I mean they're still pricey in the US, but these cost an arm and a leg in like your first newborn child. So I was dead set hourglass was the one brand I was really gonna splurge on in America. So I got the Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I actually have tried this in the past and my one smashed, which was absolutely devastating. So I picked up the same shade. There's actually a fairer one, which I wasn't aware of, but I love this one when I'm fair. It's the Luminous Bronze Light. 100% worth the hype if you ask me, because the formula is very, very unique. I have not tried any formulas like this. The closest I have found is the models prefer soft touch powders. The thing with these hourglass powders I have found from doing YouTube is they do not swatch very well. They always look really crappy when you swatch them. Like, you can barely even see that, but on your skin, they're beautiful. They're so buildable and just like, Arr. Next thing is actually out of the box because I've been wearing this. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Love Sick. And I did wear this to the first Benefit event and I love it. Shannon forced me to buy this because she was like, I love it. I'm buying one for my mum. Oh no. There's a bit of vegetable lasagna on my mouth. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so gross. I just realized, um, because I took my lipstick off before I ate, that I don't have anything on my lips. So I'll put it on now to show you. So as you can see, it's got a beautiful, like, mauve base to it. This shirt looks so manly in this video. It's actually really cool. It's got, like, a leather pocket and it's really long, but I don't like how the sleeves look on camera. Anyway, this is what Love Stick looks like on. I also wanted to try one of the Sephora Matte Longwear Lip Colors because I haven't tried any of these, so I have no idea if the formula is any good, but it's called Nude Pink. So there is a swatch of it there. Ooh, it doesn't smell great. If you look at the length of it compared to the Kat Von D, it's definitely like a little kind of chode shape, but I do like the packaging. Looks like a nice formula. It's not super liquidy, but it's also not really like that puffy cream kind of consistency. Next thing I grabbed was the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer. I have tried this before but I've never owned it and I wanted to pick it up because it's a really nice fair colour. I could probably even wear it right now with no fake tan 
and it's really interesting it's got a very full coverage but it's so so thin almost feels like skincare like serum so I wanted to get the full size of it to actually properly give it a go these two shadows looked really interesting again from the Sephora brand have not tried any eyeshadows from this brand so this is the shade Red Carpet, and this is the shade Red Wine. This one's pretty much a true red. It's actually very, very difficult. Like, if you are wanting to do a look with a red matte eyeshadow, you will most likely find you don't have one in your collection. I find they don't really have them in a lot of palettes and so on. So, I thought I'd pick this up just in case I needed a red matte eyeshadow, even just for, like, Halloween or something. Very handy to have. And then this shade reminded me of Blackberry from MAC, which I actually got rid of because the pigmentation on that... It's kind of lacking and the blendability is like, pfft. as you may have guessed, I'm not going in any particular order here. This is another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This one is in Diffused Light. So this is my favourite powder from the Ambient Lighting Edit palette I got for Christmas. So, so nice to set your under eyes. Works both when I'm really fair and when I'm fake tan, which is something I love in a product because... A lot of products I do get can only work when I'm fake tanned, but this one works all the time. And it's not so yellow, it's not like a banana powder, because those are just too yellow on my complexion. I'm too fair to pull that off, so this just has like a really vague kind of undertone of yellow, and it's perfect. I grabbed a little Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleaner. These are just awesome for on the go. I have the full size bottle of that. Don't actually love it. I was saying to Shannon, because she loves it. I don't really love it as much as her. I feel like it's very pungent makes my brushes feel a little bit like greasy and they stink like vanilla but I thought for a spot cleaner this would be nice for like my eye brushes and stuff when I'm going away. Now this product looks very exciting. It's the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow Waterproof. It's actually in a small little tube which is fascinating. I got the shade 15. I think it was the taupey kind of colour. I kind of swatched it like on my hand and held it up to my eyebrows and this one seemed to match so... Fingers crossed, let me know if you have tried this and you liked it. Here's my VIB card. The other thing on my mental list to get besides the Hourglass powders was setting sprays from Urban Decay. I used to really, really want the All Nighter setting spray and I had like a sample size of this. I used to love it because they had quite an oily T-zone. As I've gotten older, my skin is more on the dry side. I also got the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which is more of a cooling, hydrating one. I'm so stoked with life. And I also got the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep sp Spray. Spray. So it's kind of like a primer spray. I've tried this before and I really liked it, but I've never actually owned it. I think they were $30 each, so they added up very quickly. I got another duo because you can never have too much eyelash glue. I decided to pick up another ambient lighting blush from Hourglass. These blushes look so, so nice on a fair complexion. I could not resist picking up another one. They give your face a warmth that you really just can't get through like heaps of bronzing and stuff. You'll just end up looking orange. But these are so like multi-dimensional and kind of iridescent your cheeks look like angelic so I got dim infusion which is like the corally one <sighs> by the way I forgot to put a disclaimer if you guys are like what the heck you spent like my life savings on makeup like literally it's my life savings <laughs> because you cannot buy makeup a this cheap and b a lot of these brands that didn't even really make sense you know what I mean, in New Zealand. Like you guys know from my other videos, even a roof lawn foundation is like $50 in New Zealand, so you best believe I was like saving for this forever. This is something I've also opened. These are facial razors, just Sephora brand, and I've already taken one out, works pretty good. Almost feels like an epi later though. I use them for my moustache, if you know I was wondering. These have those little bits of wire over the blade, if you guys know what I mean, so they kind of tug and make it way more painful than it should be but they still kind of work in the end so they're good for traveling just to pop in your makeup bag I think you can use them on your brows too but I just pluck my brows I don't use these for my brows but yeah got some of those I also got this Sephora brush I think I convinced Shan to get one of these too it just looks so nice really cool oh no my one's like faulty can you see that Oh my gosh, I feel like it's going to fall right off the handle. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Because this wasn't like the cheapest brush either. But if it does break, I have hot glue. So that could be a thing that needs to happen. I got to the Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer. Blushing bronzer. I was going to say blush. And then I was like, wait, is it a bronzer or a blush? I was obviously shopping with Shan. And I was like, oh, I've wanted this bronzer here forever. It's so gorgeous. 
like look at the pan but I feel like it wouldn't actually be any good as a bronzer and according to Shannon it's actually really good which I was stoked to hear because I've always wanted it but couldn't really justify it because I was like it's not gonna look good as a bronzer it's just pretty in the pan you just want it because it's cat themed if you guys haven't seen it that's what it looks like I have frothed over this makeup product for so long and believe it or not I forgot to get it the first time we went to Sephora <laughs> I don't think I actually said it. it's the modernist eyeshadow palette and I got the shade atmosphere Took me a while to decide because they had some really beautiful combinations. Oh, nice little thank it's in there. You know, I have a sneaking suspicion this isn't the one that I picked. This is looking very underwhelming to me. I'm just gonna Google what ones there are. I honestly feel like this wasn't the one I was meant to buy. I think this one that's more bronze. Crap. Can't even remember if I got this myself or if I asked for help, so I can't even blame anybody, but oh. This was another Shannon inspired purchase. This is why it's so bad going to Sephora with her. She's tried like every makeup. It's the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I got the shade 26 Bisque Medium. I think they'd run out of the fairest one. It looks like a little pill, like it reminds me of those Beats. Is it Beats by Dre? You know, like the pill speakers. <laughs> reminds me of that. This one needs a good shaking. Oh, it's very liquid, isn't it? But from what I saw, it was full coverage. So I'm really excited to try this out. I also grabbed the Makeup Forever. Okay, this is the Pro Sculpting Duo. I'm really scared I got the wrong one because I already have one of them. I have like the goldy one. So did I get the pink one? Here's hoping. Oh, I got the gold one. Or do I have the pink one? I can't remember. See, this is what happened to me in store. I was like, <gasps> success, I got the right ones. Now I have both of them. Thank goodness. From Too Faced, I decided to pick up the Natural Eyes palette. I have a palette similar to this. It's the Cat Eyes palette, I believe it's called. The one that's like leopard spots. It's so pigmented and beautiful for traveling. And this one just had like the nicest staple kind of neutrals in it. This is by no means a new product. I know it's been around forever, but we don't get Too Faced very easily here, so. Kind of been late on the bandwagon here. These shades are full on makeup porn. I'm not even... Oh. Picked up a new NARS Laguna. I won't even take this out of the box because I'm sure you all know what this looks like. And most of you probably know mine has like this much slither of product around the outside because I've been using it in like all my tutorials and it's a pretty tragic sight. So luckily they had this in stock. There was none like behind the tester. So I asked an assistant and luckily they had some out there. Also from Hourglass, I picked up a mini size of the Veil Primer. Everybody on YouTube seems to love this, but I feel like it might be a little bit better for oily skin, which I don't really have. So I thought I'd just get the small size just to be safe. Another brand I've never tried anything from is Buxom. So I decided to get one of the lightweight liquid lipsticks. This is called the Wildly Whipped Lightweight Liquid Lipstick. I love pissing Tamar off and saying like whipped. <laughs> like when we get bread, I'm like wheat meal. I don't know why it, I find it so funny. But anyway, this is called Wildly Whipped. And I got the shade Nudist. It looks like this. Very cool. It's in like ombre packaging. And I don't know if this dries down matte. Always safe to go for a nude, right? I also picked up this rollable perfume. I do have one rollable perfume, which I use when I go traveling. And it's Katy Perry Killer Queen, which I got in my swap with Allison like three years ago and we did our international swap, so thanks girl if you ever watched this video. I still use that when I go traveling, but it's getting quite low now. I was looking for a new rollable anyway and then Shan bought this a few days prior to me buying it and I was trying it in the hotel room. Kind of reminds me a bit of Flower Bomb, but a bit more sultry and musky. The last kind of full size thing I got was this eyeshadow from Urban Decay. Man, I swatched this and I was just like, girl, I've got to take you home with me. It kind of looks like MAC Blue Brown pigment in a way, if you know what I mean. Like that kind of duochrome finish over a darker eyeshadow. But it's like olive green, which is great because I don't love blue so much. This is like a khaki kind of green color over a brown color. It's so beautiful. Like I said, it's the shade Lounge. So I'm so excited to use this in a video. And everything else is just like little small products. I picked this up by checkout. It's the Glam Glow Power Mud. I wanted a hydrating mask and she was like, try this. It smells like apples. So I was like, okay. I got Tom Ford Black Orchid, which is exciting because Tom Ford perfumes cost so much. I got a mini Buxom Lip Cream. It's called Rose Julep. 
so that's very cool I'm really excited I get to try another color of that also so excited about this I got a mini size of the Kat Von D tattoo liner I feel like every youtuber I've ever watched has recommended this and I've never tried it so I'm really really excited to try that and then these ones are just kind of random I have a orange sanguini cologne dr. Brandt pore gem abrasion exfoliator and another one so another one DJ Khaled so there we have it guys that is the completed Sephora slash makeup portion of the Las Vegas haul I'm really sorry if this has been a long video I tried to kind of go through as fast as I could while still making it kind of interesting and telling you why I wanted to try out each product. I'll link off part one down below if you haven't seen that. It's like clothes, bags, souvenirs, all that kind of crap from Vegas. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye! Is the music started? Can I make it? <laughs> that wasn't fun. I'm the key of the world. I heard that because Drake had a pause. Oh. Can you not? Drake! Leaving the team down. Will someone